What's up guys? My FRS is finally on the road. I've been waiting for a long time. I know a lot of you guys have been too. And for all you newer viewers, this is going to be my experience of price breakdown. How much a FRS costs from Copart. So, the winning bid on this car was $4,500 at Copart. And it looked like this when I picked it up. Then, in addition to the $4,500 bid, I spent $558 in fees and $100 in towing fees to get it to my house. So in my driveway, the car in bad condition was $5,158. All right, so the hit was really light. The airbags didn't deploy. It was just a front bumper, this headlight, hood, radiator, and the support. Now it looks like it was never even hit. Let's hit. This light wasn't da damaged at all. This is the fender that I replaced. This is the original fender from the accident. It wasn't touched at all. And you can see the gaps aren't that bad. So the car, when it looked like this, with all these black parts unpainted, this was 7,300 in. I bought all the parts from the dealer and the paint is what topped off the price. That was 1,200 just for the paint. A lot of people or a lot of shops didn't, didn't even want to take the job because they can't blend the three-stage pearl white. But one guy did it and charged $1,200. It looks nice. There's no, no paint difference anywhere. This was, was this blended? I don't know what was blended, but all we know is this paint is the new paint and this is the original paint. Because this piece was never painted. But the door, the door was blended, right? This was untouched. So yeah. the paint just, it looks great, it looks even. So, the, this fender was blended onto the door. I'm not sure if he blended onto the mirror, but it looks fine I to me. Like to and then, obviously the whole front end matches because... These three parts are brand new. Yeah, all those parts are new and painted. And this is the other fender was blended onto. Oh, blended. Yeah. All right, let's pop the hood. Look at the parts underneath, how everything came out. All the plastics fit in nice. I feel like they just got this car. I feel like they just got this car off the dealer's lot. I just like this. So I got all these small plastic bumper holders, I don't know what they're called. That was all new from the dealer. And then the fender liners, new from the dealer. It all aligns perfectly. And then take a look under the hood here. This is what it used to look like. I took this picture at Copart before buying the car and now it looks like this. New core support, radiator support, right? Yeah, this was new from the dealer. You can tell the paint is a little off, but it's not on the outside. So it's just it's just a base coat, right? Because the exterior has like three stages, the three stage paint, but this is just like a base, base paint. And then, it was such a light hit. This is the original intake. This is all original. I think that's the resonator for the intake. The coolant reservoir is new. Is this piece new? I believe so, yeah. So this, this original, up to here basically, this is original. This is new, right? Yeah. That's, that part's new. Radiator. And you can see the frame rails haven't been fixed at all. 
slightly damaged, but they weren't pushed in. So the labor cost, the core support and radiator swap, that was 300. And everything lines up well, so I'm happy. Yeah, there's like no bumper sag like you see in a lot of these rebuilt cars. I see a lot when it's rebuilt, like the headlights don't line up. I see missing fender liners, things like that. Or paint chips. Like Number this. one thing I see is paint chips, but this paint quality is obviously perfect. Yeah, and I went overboard with buying dealer only parts, OEM. I could have went with Certifit or Keystone. Yeah, they're like. How much was the hood for the dealer? Five hundred. Like, that's crazy. Just for that, plus paint on that is at least like two hundred dollars. Yeah, I overpaid for the hood like crazy. But, but you don't want to get from something from. First of all, Keystone wouldn't work for salvage inspection kit. You have to get everything dealer. No, I think Keystone would have worked. Oh, yeah. I just like. And this. like this fender from the dealer, it was only. 175 Keystone was like 160. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, all OEM kind of is better. I wanted to go with the aftermarket hood, the but. The thing is, aftermarket doesn't always line up perfect. So yeah. That's the thing. When the bumpers on the rebuilds, they like pop, they're popping out everywhere, they don't align. When you get OEM, you know that everything will fit just like it did on the back. It's literally the same bumper and So that's just highlighting basically everything that was fixed. But everything that didn't have to be fixed is already meant, right? Like the back was untouched. Yeah, it's 17,000 miles on And like I said earlier, no airbags deployed. That's a big money saver. Airbags cost a lot, the module costs a lot. Let's take a look at the back. Oh yeah, you're definitely swapping these out, right? I mean, these are much wider than the BRZs. The BRZs are like, probably like almost half of this. But you're gonna swap this out for the, the new aftermarket one you got. Is that uh, axle back? Yeah. You get into the tail lights too, right? Yeah, I'm not what sure. Are you gonna do? I'm not sure if I wanna do Buddy Club or Valenti. But I'm leaning towards Valenti because of the price. It's like half the price. I like Valenti ones. Those are the Aventador looking ones? No, no. They're the ones that Calvin has. Oh. No, I like the Aventadors way better. But they're 500. Wow. The Valentis are like half price, 250. Yeah, I mean, I think Aventador would be nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? So. Let's hop inside. See what's going on here. Nice condition. Literally, look, it's like new almost. These are almost new. I'm happy it came with this nicer radio with the touch screen backup camera. I just like this. Here's the actual. Here's the actual. How much the, the winning bid sale price? Winning bid was four thousand five hundred. Yeah, look at these crazy fees. Buyer fees. These are fee breakdown, basically of Copart. What people overlook. They look at this price and they forget that it, it runs up to five thousand quick. Four hundred just for just for buying it. Yeah. 20 for the mailing fee and I was there to pick all the stuff up. Yeah. Like, $80 for a virtual bidding fee. I just like How this. old can you buy the car? Like this is absurd. But whatever, it's fine. I bought every single one of these parts from the dealer. You know how much estimate this would run you? Uh, 
over a thousand, like 1500, I think. Mm. This one was in the trunk though. I didn't buy that. Here's, yeah. And I got this bumper. That was the only used part I got. It was OEM though. Oh, uh, that's a re uh, reinforcement? Yeah, I got it from the junkyard. Uh, oh yeah, this is a little reinforcement. This is the appraisal, right? Let's take a look at the appraisal total. Yeah, let's find that total page. More parts. Yeah, more parts that I bought. Hood and the fender. Here's a bunch of parts that had to be replaced on the appraisal. It all went up to, that's just parts or parts and labor? This is parts and labor with paint. Yeah. They appraised it at 12.5 and what? I spent around at, four on work. Look at all these parts that were supposed to be replaced. A lot of them were replaced, but Most of it is the labor cost. Yeah, that runs up. And it all adds up to, here we go, $12,500. But in reality, you ended up spending like what, $4,000? Yeah, I won the car for $4,500, paid 500 in fees, 100 transportation, and then like $4,000 for parts and labor. So right now, how much is this car? Nine thousand, somewhere around there, give or take. Nine thousand. The KDB's on it. What? Twenty-two or twenty-three? What the seventeen thousand miles? Twenty-three thousand for nine thousand. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. You know, it's fully registered on the road. Let's double check those miles. Right there. Those are actual miles. Cut real quick. Um, I have all the splash guards and everything too. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Yeah. So I got all those. Yeah, like feels solid. You can tell it has 17,000 actual miles. Yeah, hasn't been drifted yet. And then the tires are good too. Are you gonna keep these wheels? I'm not a fan of these. You can't really get much for them if you're trying to upgrade, right? The stock yeah. Ones are really cheap. You like these wheels? Honestly, I'm not a fan of these wheels. But if you were to sell them, you wouldn't get much for them, right? They're like stock. Definitely not. Like Maybe somebody else gonna drift them. If you were to upgrade them, what would you get though? I would probably get the NK RPF ones. A lot of guys do that. The interior is like trash. I need to clean it. Yeah, yeah that's a small thing though. Anyways, we pretty much covered most of the car, right? I think we got everything. Yeah. All right, time for some flyby. We got rust in the back from Auto Worker too. That's when Faze used to trick shot up and then out there moving in the cloud house, you know? That's crazy though. Faze used to trick shot out the rust, right? If they started there. And now they don't play any games at all. Alright, yeah, so definitely look at this road though. This road is begging to be like drifted through. So yeah, let's do some flybys and make sure I'll get I'll make sure to get some, some footage of rust in the background. <laughs> Okay, start it up. I'll, I'll get the exhaust and stuff, see how it runs. Make sure the engine runs good. Get that all included. So it came only with this key. That looks pretty weak. Yeah, like, that's the thing with Copart. You don't get two or three set of keys, you just yeah. get this. You could upgrade though. Sometimes you get more keys at Copart, but I didn't get lucky enough. All right, start it up. Yeah, this is gonna get swapped out for sure. It's too quiet. Runs quiet though. Engine sounds good. Alright. Such nice scion.
That wasn't him. Here he comes. I just like the sound. Yeah, I caught them both. Yeah. I saw that nice sign. So, how was the drive? Uh, Any issues with it at all? Nothing. Drive straight doesn't even need an alignment. That's good. Yeah, I mean, the car is nice. I mean, nothing wrong with it. This is probably like one of the best Copart experiences, though, because I hear people always talking about how I just like they have issues with like getting scanned on Copart and things like that. I had a good experience with my Civic, so... Yeah. Anyways, dude. Just forgot. Let's see the trunk. So, if we could get... Let's say... 350 likes... We're gonna give this away. Any country... Yeah. What is this? This is a Wait, let's just put it on the trunk. Let me see it. It's a 118 scale diecast Porsche 911 GT3. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I mean, I would have gotten FRS, but they don't make those. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to win this, it's leave pretty, a like. It's pretty close. It's got the it's got the white exterior with some red red trims on the seats. So, so if you guys want to win this. 350 likes and I'll pick a random person from the comments. 350 likes, random person gets this in the mail. All you gotta do is send in your address and we'll mail this out. I mean, it's not much, but I can't afford to give away more. Yeah, not yet, not yet. All right, guys, so that's my Copart experience with this car. I think I covered everything. Like I said earlier, 9,000 for what you see right here with all dealer parts professionally painted and I have an exhaust coming as well it's finished this is actually just the beginning you got a new exhaust coming in taillights maybe yeah that's exciting new exhaust and taillights definitely taillights just a matter of time for the taillights exhaust is ready so that's gonna be the next video you putting that out yeah, for sure yeah also you want to see how much CarMax wants to get for this I mean it's oh, it's almost perfect you want to compare what Copar would get for a rebuilt one versus the KBB value of it maybe see if you can make money buying from Copar yeah, actually, that, that's a really good point if they offer like 13 for it even though it costs 23,000 right 9,000 to 13 4,000 profit we'll see or it could be an extreme lowball because it's rebuilt I mean it's unlikely that we could make money selling it to CarMax but you don't know until you try yeah definitely that's what, that's what we got coming next. So make sure you subscribe. I just like this. Turn on post notifications, right? If you found anything informative, like I have a lot of experience with Copart, I'll be doing. That's an icon. I'll be doing more videos in the future. And thanks to Sam Crack for giving me these tips how to find a car. I made sure I was an insurance seller and I didn't get scammed, so I'm happy.